Apparently, Nigerian school children are reportedly watching porn <laughs> on their new $100 laptops. This is what's. This is where the hundred dollar laptop is headed. By the way, it's just going to be. It's going to become a nightmare because all these cultures and these countries that don't think porn is cool, like Lance, what do you say? Well, you know, they're paying for something everyone else is getting for free. But um, you know, the uh, this is just going to happen. You're going to hand them a tool, and people are going to use the tool to get something done. And the world of the internet is is just a bunch of open doors. They're just going to start typing things. In. And by the way, if they weren't looking for it, you know, they just stumbled on it. Those those I was going to say stupid hundred dollar laptops because I'm not a big fan of them. And I told why. Right. Because they're they're wrong headed. I mean, I think they they put an operating system on there that's probably the hardest one to put together. Other peripherals with it and, and make it work. It's not as easy as it ought to be. It's not as extensible as it ought to be. And you know, so how power laptop. But why does it need to be that? Why does it need to be that for that part of the world? What if you just hand someone the opportunity to place a VoIP call? Do some email. That having that kind of communications capability. That's all right there. That Why changes do they need their to do lives. Email yeah. Well, bush. I was going to say. Well, first of all, VoIP. You, these people who have nothing. So the first thing they say is, I got to call my friend in Europe. You know. I mean, I just don't understand that. I, mean, I think that the other the but other might, problem they, here. Maybe could they email their friend in Europe? Is that possible? They don't have any friends in Europe. Uh, period. And the thing is, but they would like to have friends in Europe. <laughs> they would like to have friends in Europe. When this concept came up, I think that we we're in a different place with technology. Technology moves so fast that the necessity for a so-called hundred-dollar laptop is gone. You can get cheap enough components, and you can get super simple operating systems. Put, you know, put this together. I'd rather see a Mac OS on a really cheap piece of hardware with, um, you know, uh, solar and also, you know, long ba life batteries. That little crank is nice. Oh my. God, I hate the little crank. And you know what? Negroponte said to me, um, he actually said to me that they could attach something to their dog and have it run around to power the thing. I, I swear yeah. to God, he said that. Yeah. Actually, also, one of the big criticisms of that whole effort from people is that if you put things worth $100 in the hands of many people in that part of the world, that just encourages a lot of stealing and crime. Oh, you're too. absolutely right. Anything with, with They don't with own the things value. that cost $100 yeah, in many cases. Well, you, if they are getting yes. porn on the laptop, they'll probably be more inclined to keep it. Yeah. Well, we don't that's know. That's true. Now they'll lock it up. <laughs> we don't <laughs> We don't know their now it's worth the hundred dollars. We don't know their motives for watching the porn too. Well, How do you know they minute. don't have entrepreneurial, you know, directions well, with them this? Like right. Nigerian hotties and well, stuff. Well, you know Maybe what? Get the them a printer site. because if you get them a printer, now they can print out the porn and start selling it, and they can buy better laptops. I'm John C. Devorak. You've been watching Cranky Geeks. See you again next week.